Hey everyone, thanks for joining me again. Today we're going to create a filter booth lens. And what I mean by that is if you've ever gone to a photo booth, you've seen the printout is just a sheet of probably five or six photos with different styles on each, different filters applied to them. We're going to do the same thing in Snapchat. So a user will just see six different versions of themselves without code and super simple. This will also dive really deep into uh, um, render targets and layers. So let's get started. We'll add our ortho camera first and make sure that it's orthographic. We will create a new layer and select it. And we'll also call it ortho. Perfect. Don't need lighting. We will create a new folder called render targets. And then we'll call this one main render target. Put that inside. Perfect. So both of these should have the main render target. And let's select our ortho camera and then just bring it all the way to the left keep it out of the way. We'll create a new scene object to hold our filters. And put it on the ortho camera. We'll zero this out. Perfect. So that it's there. And then let's add a new plane to the filters. We'll put a negative one and a zero degree rotate. Come on. Perfect, and then the plane won't show up until you select the ortho layer. Perfect. So what we can do now is create a new camera, drag it outside. We'll call this one sepia. And what we're going to do is create a new render target called sepia. We will source the device camera texture and then the camera will output to sepia. Perfect. Let's create a new folder again called source materials. And that's where we're going to store the materials that provide the image. And they'll just be simple PBRs. We'll rename this one to sepia. We'll uncheck these, we don't need them. And the base will be render target sepia. Perfect. And so this plane, we're going to test out. Wonderful. So now we select our sepia camera and then we go to color correction and then sepia and voila it should adjust. Oh, my bad. I need to add that to the sepia camera and make sure that the sepia layer is selected after we create it. And then the sepia camera needs to also render the sepia. Look at that. As you can see in the background, um, it's normal and then in our little frame, it's got sepia. Perfect. So I guess now we'll just start with resizing that plane to be one third of the screen. So if that's one, 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 let's see what one, two is. No, so 1.8. We'll go with um, 1.4, 0 0.75, still looks stretched. And then we'll do a 1.35. That should be fine, so let's do the math on this. Um, actually, we can just 
resize this way down to one. Th no, we'll do the math. So a third of one, uh, no, half of one. Oh, geez, let's see. Open up a calculator. 1.35 divided by 3, 0 0.45. And then we'll do 0.75 divided by 2 is 0.037. Hold on. Yeah, 0.375. Perfect. So that should be exactly one third by one half. Other way around. Um, we will position it to the upper left corner. We'll fix it later. And then let's duplicate it. So we'll call it one uh, filter, duplicate. Duplicate, duplicate. We'll bring this one to the right. Okay, so now we have six different frames, and then we'll add one just one big one um, to the back of it to make sure you're not seeing the original camera. And we'll just call it background, and make sure that it's flipped up. And then this will be negative 1.1, just so it's there. We're going to resize it to be massive. Make sure the render target is ortho and then that should be perfect just to make sure they don't see the actual camera. So now we have our first camera uh, done and we can go ahead and add another one. So let's see what we can add. Let's go to color correction. Um, let's try cinematic. So then let's just add a camera called cinematic. cinematic and again we we'll just add our new layer cinematic we select oh we need to add a render target we'll call it cinematic take the device camera texture and the camera needs to take that one perfect and then we create a new source material called cinematic we'll take our cinematic render and Perfect. So now that should be, oh, we add the cinematic to the camera. Not sure that that did it. Oh, right. Okay. We drag that down to the cinematic and then ensure that this is on the cinematic render layer. Perfect. So those are the steps you do to produce um, a new filter, I guess. All right, yeah, that, that looks kind of good. I do like that. So I'll quickly go through and add the other ones. Um, let's see what we can add again. Find some cool ones. Let's go with a retro game. 
Yeah, I like retro. Cool, there's number three. Texas, we'll do Texas. Cool. Let's see what else there is. Let's see what flower. And now one more. Black and white. Can't go hard. Uh, can't go wrong with black and white.
All right, so there is uh, our photo booth style Snapchat lens. Um, it's not perfect, but it does work pretty well. Now, one thing you guys might want to do before you publish is, uh, well, clean it up, I guess. I kind of have it all over the place. We'll just add a new folder here. We'll call it uh, filter. filter images put these in here just keep it clean um, and then uh, you'll want to go one by one unfortunately you'll have to go one by one um, and add a face retouch if you do want a face retouch uh, right sepia and you can't do multiple layers here. So my suggestion is to just set it to what you want it to be on one of them, right? Um, and then just copy. Move these up a tiny bit. And then actually in here, we'll just copy a component. That way it works for two people. And it's the same thing. And then just copy it into all of these effects. Okay, why won't you copy? Duplicate, great. And then put it on cinematic. Duplicate. Put it on retro. Perfect. So now you have two people's faces retouched um, underneath the filter that was applied. Um, that's it, pretty much. Please like the video if you did like it, and subscribe, and check out my other videos on how to make these lenses. Also, I do have a Skillshare class where I publish uh, full lessons, full classes on how to do scripting and how to create lenses like this. Um, not just me speeding through, I do actually take the time to explain what's going on so without further ado thanks for watching and subscribe